You're listening to The Morning Monarchy for Friday, September 2nd, 2016. I'm James Evan Pilato for MediaMonarchy.com. It is 9-11 a.m. here on the West Coast, and I'm glad you join us live every Monday through Friday at 9 a.m. Pacific time for your Morning Monarchy. We do the news in the morning, and we do news at noon. Both places you can listen live, MediaMonarchy.com slash listen. A huge thanks to our buddy Jared at RadioConfluence.com for simulcasting all of the live Media Monarchy broadcast and rebroadcasting our pre-recorded shows like Good News Next Week and New World Next Week. Also, huge thanks to the Truth Seeker app for always carrying your morning monarchy, putting us up right alongside InfoWars, Democracy Now!, all the other big boys, and we appreciate it. So if you're catching us on the Truth Seeker app, you can always say yo, james at mediamonarchy.com. I got some concerned emails and texts yesterday from folks, and I hadn't looked at it yet. But YouTube basically declared war on independent media with their new YouTube censorship. Nothing substantive can basically be covered. So here's the screen grab. Controversial or sensitive subjects and events, including subjects related to war, political conflicts, natural disasters, and tragedies, even if graphic imagery is not shown. If any of the above describes any portion of your video, then the video may not be approved for monetization. If monetization is approved, your video may not be eligible for all available ad formats. YouTube reserves the right to not monetize a video, as well as suspend monetization features on channels that repeatedly submit videos violating our policies. Now that's just one piece, and I imagine it probably gets worse than that. Because I could look at that in some level and say, well... I don't monetize my videos anyway because I don't want your advertising garbage to roll over top of my independent work. So that doesn't really hurt me. But I imagine it probably goes on to say, we'll kill your account at any time if you want. Just in time for the 15th anniversary, perhaps? Putting the screws down to different media? Maybe a little bit of good news. Netflix saves children from 150 hours of commercials a year. Somebody please think of the children. 